Hey guys, I'm going to do something a little bit different today. You don't have to do it with a weight, but it's an option, okay? So some of the exercises today that we're going to do for our yoga practice is weighted yoga. Just a little bit, uh, something different, okay? Um, so if you want to use a weight, you can pan or not, it doesn't matter. You can just use a block. Either is optional, all right guys? So first of all, what I want you to do is find your comfortable seated position. Maybe coming into your half lotus or keeping the legs crossed, whatever works well for you. Keep the shoulders back, lengthen through the spine. Just let the hands relax down on top of the thighs and we'll close off our eyes. So starting to notice our breath as we take a nice deep, big inhale through the nose. And then just let it go through the mouth, taking a big sigh. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, side out. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, side out. Do one more. Inhale. And exhale. Keeping the eyes closed, we'll just continue to breathe for a few breaths, inhaling through our nose this time and exhaling through our nose. One more inhale. And exhale. Slowly start to blink the eyes back open. As we inhale, reach those arms up to the sky, lengthen, and then take it over to your left side, reaching the right fingertips over, lengthening through the side body. Just making sure those sitting bones are still rooted towards the floor and they've not lifted off the mat and then we'll inhale come back into center as we lift exhale to the opposite side inhale back through center lengthen the fingertips to the sky and then exhale again take it over inhale back to center exhale we take it over Inhale back to center. Just exhale as you float that chest forward. Come into a little bit of a forward fold over those legs. Maybe if you can, bring in the forehead down to the floor. And we'll inhale, reach those arms back up towards the sky. Exhale, open the chest, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Exhale, round it through, interlock the fingers, push the hands away from the body, belly in towards the spine here, chin to the chest. Again, inhale as we open those arms, reaching that chest forward. Exhale, round it through, bring the fingers together, push the hands away, chin to chest, belly to spine. Inhale, back open, let's cactus the elbows this time. Keep squeezing the shoulder blades together. And then exhale, just release the hands down on top of your thighs. From here, we're gonna make our way into tabletop pose. So let's come onto your fingertips, bringing the knees under your hips, two fists distance apart, and then just lift that tailbone up to the sky, rolling the chest forward. And then take an exhale as you drink, bring the chin to the chest, belly to spine. We're still on the tips of the fingers, coming into your cat pose. Another breath here, inhale, reach and lift that tailbone up to the sky. And then exhale, draw the chin to the chest. Last time, inhale. Exhale, chin to chest. 
and then inhale, press the hands of the heels back to the floor as you untuck those toes and then lift the knees off as you come into your ragdoll here. So grabbing the fingertips are on the floor here or you're grabbing the elbows and then just sway it out from side to side a few times, letting the head relax. And then slowly take an inhale as you reach those arms up to the sky. Maybe take a little bit of a backward bend. Ah, then exhale as you bring those hands through the heart center. So just looking down at the feet here, make sure the toes are spread out nice and wide, the shoulders are back and the tailbone is down. And from here, we're gonna start working into your shoulders. So take the arms out, and then we're gonna start pulsing back here for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. From there, reach the arms back out, interlock the fingers, push the hands away, draw the chin to the chest, belly into the spine. We'll inhale again, open the arms. Again, we pulse here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring those hands round, push the palms away, belly comes in, chin to the chest. And then inhale again, let's cactus those elbows, pushing the heart forward. Exhale, just release. A few little shoulder rolls here, backwards and forwards, releasing off those shoulders. And then if you do have that weight, so now we're going to grab hold of the weight here. So grab and hold of that weight. Mine's just 5K, G's, whatever you've got. Work with what you have, okay? So the feet are under the hips. The toes are spread out nice and wide. You've got the option here to stay on those heels or we're coming onto your tiptoes. So tiptoes, reaching the arms up here, pull the belly in, keep holding that plate. Now squeeze the glutes here at the same time. We're coming into some heel tap, so we're lifting up and down for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. The last one, we're holding it here at the top, we're squeezing the glutes. Now the plate's going to come round towards the centre of the chest. If you can stay on those tippy toes, we then reach the plate out and we hold it out. <laughs> Four, three, two, and one. Come back, inhale, reach it back up towards the sky. Exhale, drop the heels to the floor and then bring that plate back down towards the chest. From there, again, make sure those feet are still under the hips. We're coming into your chair pose from there, so breathing in. As you exhale, push the hips back into your chair. Make sure the weight is into the heels so that the tippy toes, can, your toes can lift off the floor. And then we're pulsing. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We're pulsing again for 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Keep it going. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. This time we're going to hold it for five, four. Keep pulling the belly in. Three two, one, inhale, we come up, this time we go onto those tiptoes, and the plate lifts over the head, watch that tailbone, make sure your tailbone is in and down, and then from here we exhale back down onto the heels, we sit back into our chair pose, and then we inhale, we come back up to the tiptoes, exhale, sit back down into chair. Inhale, lift up, exhale, chair, inhale, lift, and exhale, chair. Inhale, we lift, exhale, chair, 
Inhale, lift. Exhale, chest. All right, keep going. Every time you come up, you are squeezing those glutes. Take it back into chair. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Let's do two more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Woo! Exhale. Lost in that balance. Drop it down. Inhale. Come back up. Lift the plate over your head. And then exhale. Bring it back down towards the chest. Remove the plate a second. Take another inhale. You reach the arms up into your back bend. Exhale. Float it down. Forward fold. Inhale to halfway flat back. Exhale, planting those hands down, finding your plank position. Stacking the wrists in line with the shoulders. And then from here we inhale the left arm forward, the left elbow squeezes back. Ten times. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two, one. Last one. Squeeze it here. Hold it for five, four, three, two. Pull that belly in here. And one. Left hand down. Drop knee to the floor. Right hand stays on the floor as we inhale. The left arm opens, reaching up towards the sky. Slowly release the left hand down and we find our way back into plank again on the opposite side. So back into plank, reaching the right arm forward, cactus the elbow here with 10 times again, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one. We hold it for five. Pull the elbow back. Four, three, two, one. Drop it down to the knees. And then inhale. Push into the left hand as the right arm reaches up into your shoulder twist. Shoulder opener. And exhale as you bring it back towards the floor. Okay, from here again, come onto your fingertips. Take an inhale, lift the tailbone of the sky, open the chest and the shoulders. Exhale, round it through. Inhale, open it out into that cow pose, looking up towards the sky. Exhale, round it through. One more time, inhale. Exhale, round it through. Okay, back onto the hands and the heels. The heels. Did I say that right? Okay, coming back into your neutral spine, tabletop. We're coming into some legs up the wall, peeing, or otherwise known as, known as your fire hydrant. So, knees under those hips. From there, I want you to inhale as you lift the left leg open and then exhale, we close. 10 times again for nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it at the top, flex those toes. Hold it for four, three, two, one. Drop the left knee down. Give the hips a little circle. And then from here, we're doing the same leg, but I'm giving you a harder option. So if you don't want to do the second option that I'm showing you, then you go back to the first option if that's better for you. So you're back into your neutral tabletop, okay? So we're going to tuck those toes under and then lift the knees and hover them off the floor here about one inch. And then we're doing the same 
with that fire hydrant leg. So we're lifting it out and then bringing it back to the center. Okay, so if it is harder, so you do have the option to stay with those knees connected to the mat if you want that option. All right, so when you're ready, if you want to do this with me, tuck the toes, hover those knees, we take it out, we bring it back. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, hold it. And then exhale, drop the knees to the floor. Let's just take a little puppy dog, knees under the hips, give the arms a little stretch, a little rest here. <sighs> Bring the forehead down or the chin on the mat. And we'll just relax. And then inhale, start to walk the hands back. So of course, we have to do the opposite side. So starting off on those knees, knees under the hips. If you need to give those wrists a shake, if they're screaming at you, give them a shake. And then we'll move to the other side. So take it out here for 10. Noticing which side feels a little bit tighter. Eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, last one. We hold it here for five. Be flexing those right toes. Four, three, two, and one. Release, all right, straight to the same side again. Toe tops under, lift and hover those knees. We go out for 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, whoo, two, and one. Lift it up, hold it, and release. Again, come into your puppy dog. Give the arms a little rest. Lift that tailbone upwards to the sky. And then just look forward, find your way onto your belly as you're in your sphinx pose. Untuck the toes, lift the kneecaps, lift the thighs, squeeze them, press them into the forearms as that heart reaches in between those shoulder blades, squeezing them. Press into the hands, lift up to your seal. And exhale, roll back down. Take the hands to your lower rib cage. Squeeze the elbows in. Inhale as you push into upward facing dog. And then exhale, downward facing dog. So just starting to pedal the heels a few times, wiggling out those hips. Looking in between the hands, start to step forward. Inhale into halfway flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise all the way up. And exhale, bring the hands into your heart. Okay, so we're gonna use that plate again if you want to. Grabbing hold of the plate. Coming into some balance and postures. As I say, if you don't want to use it, don't use it. So, start on the left leg. Spread out your toes. Stand up nice and tall. Let's lift the right leg up, bend the knee. And then if you can, take the plate up, over your head, shoulders are relaxed, the right hip is drawing down. We are opening out the hip here 10 times and then bringing it back. Nine, eight, Seven, 
six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it here. Keep squaring the hips forward. Hold it for three more breaths. Two, one. Inhale, bring it back to the center. Cross the ankle on top of the thigh, flexing those toes, and then just bring the plate down and sit down into your figure of four. Then we inhale, we come back up, we exhale and we sit back down. And we keep going. So we're doing a 10, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and the last one. We stay here, we hold it. If you'd like to add in a push, we push for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and we hold it. And we sit down a little bit lower. <laughs> you can't see me. And then we bring it back, we release, and we drop the right foot down. Take it into a forward fold. Release the block or the weight to the mat. Peace fingers, grab hold of the big toes. Lift the tailbone to the sky. And just hold it here for a few rounds of breath. Release the big toes. Inhale, grab that weight. Slowly roll up to standing. Oh, bring that chin to the chest and do that right. <laughs> Roll the shoulders back and we'll do the opposite side. So, right foot down on the mat, pull the belly in, squeeze those glutes, left knee lift, shoulders back, take the left, take your arms up over the head, open the left hip, bring it back and close. Eight, seven, six, five, Four, make sure your lower belly is pulled in, lower rib cage is all squeezing in, hug it in tight. Two, one, hold it out, relax the shoulders. Three, two, and one. Cross that ankle on top of the thigh, sit down into figure of four, bring that plate towards the chest. Making sure you are flexing those toes as always to keep the knees safe. We then inhale and we come back up and we take it down. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We hold it, that plate comes back out. We bring it back in for four, three, two, and one, hold it, bring it back, inhale, rise up, exhale, release the left foot, take a breath, exhale, hinge from the hips, forward fold again, taking hold of those big toes with your peace fingers, relax in the head, Maybe give the legs a little bit of a shake if you need it. Those hamstrings are really tight. And then inhale, slowly rise up. Pushing the arms up overhead, lengthen, lengthen. Exhale as we bring the hands back through the heart. Again, you've got the option of using your block here. We're coming into warrior two. So left foot turns out 90, middle arch to your front heel alignment. Tailbone is down, ribs are pulled in, shoulders are back. We are using the plate here. So we're gonna grab hold of that plate again. 
Kneecaps facing forward on the front leg. Take a breath. On the exhale, come down into your warrior two. Okay, from there, reaching the weight over the head. Take a breath. Exhale, straighten. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Stay down here and you worry you two. Bring that plate back to the chest. Push it out for ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Drop the plate back to the floor. Take the right hand down and then reach it up into your side angle. So if that left shoulder has dropped here, come up onto your forearm and stay with this or take the left arm over your head. Find this side triangle, side angle, sorry. Right palm is facing up towards the sky. Take a breath. Exhale it out. Straighten off the front leg. Let's reverse your triangle. Slide the left hand down. Thigh. Reach the right arm over your head. And then we exhale, come back into warrior two. Bring those hands through the heart center. Grab hold of your weight again. This time we're going into goddess pose. So you goddess, turn those toes out. Charlie Chaplin. Shoulders back, tailbone is down. Take a breath. And then exhale, sit down into your goddess squat. On that inhale, we reach it back up. Take the right hand with your weight and then drop back down. Take the right arm down. Inhale, push back up. Down. 10 times. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Squeeze the glutes. Five. Four. Three, two, one, stay here, grab the weight, switch to the opposite side, take it up, Ten. nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, release the block down to the floor, stay here, hold it here, roll the shoulders back, take a few breaths, sway the hips from side to side if you wish, and then we'll open out the legs, finding a nice wide distance, feet are parallel, chest goes forward, and then just take the right hand down, as we inhale into a twist again, looking towards the left of your hips. Exhale, come back to center. Inhale, right fingertips to the sky. Exhale, come back, hold it in a ragdoll. Ground the elbows and just sway side to side. 10 in the left toes, line in the middle arch to your front heel alignment and we grab hold of that block or weight again, coming up prepping for your warrior two. Take a breath and then on the exhale you bend in at the left leg, reaching the weight over the head, pulling the lower rib cage in here nice and tight as well, straighten off. Four, three, two, one, hold it in your warrior two, watch you not collapsed into that back foot. Bring the weight back to the chest, push it away. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Drop the plate to the floor, coming into your side angle, left forearm to thigh, reaching the right arm over. 
Spin in your right rib cage back, right shoulder back, reach and hold. Take another breath on your exhale, reverse your triangle, slide the right hand down the thigh, reach the left arm over your head, gazing either towards the right foot or look towards the sky. And then exhale, you come back, warrior two. Inhale, reach the arms to the sky. Exhale, we're making our way back into your goddess. Using the plate if you wish. We are repeating one more time. So, goddess pose. Turn those toes out 45 degrees, not 45, Charlie Chaplin. Charlie Chaplin toes, belly's pulled in, tailbone is down. We inhale through the nose, we exhale, we sit down. We press nine, eight, oh, it's killing my finger, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower, lower, lower. Switch to the opposite side. Again, for ten, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Sit down, drop the weight to the floor, hold it here again, using those forearms to push the thighs away, the knees away. Again, you can find that swaying movement if you wish. And then we're coming into that forward fold again, so take the legs out nice and wide. Feet are parallel, hinge forward from the hips. Lengthen out the backs of the legs. Take the right hand down, inhale, left shoulder rises up towards the sky. Now from here, we inhale, we lengthen the arms, reach it forward. And then take the left hand down as the right fingertips reach to the sky. Inhale, reach the arms back forward. And then take the hands to the lower spine. As you inhale, you rise up. Squeezing the glutes at the top. And then we take a little back bend. And then we inhale, come back to the front. Okay, so back into your warrior two. Bend through the left leg. Sorry, bending into the right leg. Warrior two. Take a breath. Exhale, reverse your triangle. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, slide it back into triangle this time. So your right hand is gonna either be resting on your right shin or take it down and push it against your right leg. Reaching that left arm back. If you'd like to reach both arms up towards the ceiling, squeezing the imaginary block, pulling your left shoulder back, pulling your left hip back. And then bend through the front leg as you take it over to the opposite side. Back into warrior two, open. Reverse. Straighten off, finding that side triangle. Exhale, back into warrior two. As you straighten off the front leg and you find that triangle on the opposite side, maybe adding the left arm in, rolling the right shoulder back, right hip back. Bending through the front leg, back into worry two. And then cartwheel the hands down, stepping into your plank. Taking the left leg, coming into your side plank here, reaching the right arm over the head. Lifting off the right leg here if you can. Tap the weight if it's out in front. And then take it round as you find your way to present. Inhaling the arms up. Exhale, hands come down. Moving through a vinyasa, press to chaturanga. Press back up, chaturanga. Up with chasing dog. Inhale to plank. This time you move on to that right side. 
lifting the left leg up, tapping the front here of the side of the mat, you tap and then that left foot comes forward, stuck in the above the ankle, inhale we rise to crescent and then exhale, float the hands down, step into a plank, chaturanga, press, chaturanga, inhale, upward facing dog, exhale, downward facing dog. Drop down onto the knees, taking your knees two fist distance apart. We are coming into a little camel pose. So hands to your lower back, push them into your imaginary jean pockets, squeeze the glutes together, roll it back. Oh, breathe. Take the hands to the low back and then slowly come down onto your heels. Little child's pose, walk it out. Bring the forehead down. Give the hips a little wiggle. Inhale, walk the hands back. Bring the knees together, or sit down into your lotus, shoulders back, palms down, on the thighs, all facing up, closing the eyes, three final breaths. Take a big inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale, bring the palms together, and namaste.